Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, let's see how to expose your MongoDB replica set outside the Kubernetes cluster. So all your applications running outside of your Kubernetes cluster, um, if you want to connect to the uh, MongoDB replica set running within your Kubernetes cluster, we need to expose that to outside the cluster, all right? So in our previous video, we saw how to deploy a MongoDB replica set inside the Kubernetes cluster as a stateful set with persistent volumes. And uh, we also uh, tested by running a Mongo pod and accessing it within the cluster. So accessing it within the cluster shouldn't be a problem. So accessing it from outside the cluster, you will have to expose that as a service. So we've got a couple of options. I think the one that I tried and found working was uh, exposing that as a load balancer. So for that to work, you need to have some form of load balancing in your Kubernetes cluster. If you're running your Kubernetes cluster on one of the cloud providers like AWS, GCP, or Azure, then you can just expose the service with the type load balancer and you will automatically get a load balancer provisioned. But if you are like me, uh, working out and exploring the bare metal options, then you have Metal LB. I've done a video on Metal LB, how to uh, provide load balancing solution for clusters running on bare metal. All right, so I've got load Metal LB uh, installed, and I've also got the same environment that I used for my previous video. So all the deployments, I mean all the MongoDB stateful set that we deployed in the previous video, I still have it kubectl get nodes so one master node two worker nodes the standard my vagrant provisioned cluster kubectl get all so as you can see here we have three parts mongo 0 1 2 deployed by the stateful set and it's all running fine and this service is the headless service as you know because cluster ip is none so this service provides the dns uh, lookup for all the parts within the stateful set all right, so let's do a quick testing like what we did in the previous video uh, to see if we can access this cluster, uh, access this replica set within the cluster. So kubectl run mongo. So this was the command that I used in my previous video to start a mongo container that will give me a shell because I'm running the shell command. So it's not going to run any mongo or anything. It's just going to give me a shell uh, in the container which has mongo shell installed. Okay, so so we are inside the shell. So now to access the cluster, um, mongo, mongodb, colon, and the members of the replica set, which are mongo0, 1, and 2. mongo-0.mongo, so that's the service name, headless service name. So that's the DNS name of the uh, service within the cluster. Comma, and I'm not using the port 27017. If you want, you can use that one. Sorry, colon 27017, comma, mongo-1, dot, mongo, colon 27017. Uh, the port is optional because we are using the default port. But anyways, mongo-2, dot, mongo, colon 27017. So that's how you access uh, the MongoDB replica set. But if you want to access a particular login straight into a particular database, slash the name of the database, for example, admin. And if you want to specify the replica set, that's optional. If you want, you can specify replica set, oh, come on, replica set equals RS0. So that's the replica set that we initiated. That's it. And we are inside the replica set. Show DBs. DB, so we are now connected to the admin DB. All right, so that's working fine. So we verified that uh, we can access the MongoDB replica set within the cluster. So any application you've got deployed in your Kubernetes cluster, um, you can access it using uh, the URI that I just mentioned. It's this one here. So that's the internal URI connection string to be able to access your MongoDB replica set. So in order to access this replica set from outside the cluster, we need to expose this, uh, these pods, the service, using load balancer or Nginx ingress controllers and so on. So in this video, let's see how to do that using load balancer. kubectl get namespace. So I've got metal LB system that's running fine. kubectl minus n metal LB system get all. 
So that's my Metal LB components running. So I should be able to get an IP address, an external load balancer IP address. All right, so what are we going to expose now? kubectl get all. So there is this headless service, but we are going to expose all the parts individually. All right, so let's expose the first part. kubectl expose part mongo-0 and the port on the container is 27017. That's where mongodb is running. Target port 27017. So the target port is the port that is running on the container. This port is the port that we are exposing it outside, 27017, and type is load balancer. All right, so mongo-0 is exposed. Let me do a watch command so that you can see here. So there you go. So that's our service, mongo-0. It's a type load balancer, and we already got an IP address for our load balancer. So we should be able to access this part using 172.42.42.200 colon 27017. Let's also expose the other two MongoDB members. kubectl expose part mongo-1 and all the same parameters again. So that's exposed and also finally we do mongo2. Cool, so we have three services now and you can see the external IP of all these services. Three parts, three members of the replica said we have exposed them as a service outside the cluster. Unfortunately, they, uh, the messy thing here is whenever you add additional members to this replica set, you need to add service and when you remove the uh, member from the replica set, you have to remove the load balancer service and so on. So that's kind of manual at the moment, but I think I, I found this one actually working and one of the viewer actually asked me this question. So that's why I'm doing this video. Okay, so cool. So we have these three services and now if we want to access this replica set externally outside uh, from the cluster, then I'm on my host machine here and it's completely outside the cluster. Although I'm running the cluster inside my host machine, I'm not inside the uh, cluster itself. So on my host machine, I've got Mongo shell installed, which, which Mongo, so I've got Mongo installed. I'm running Ubuntu 1804 on this server machine. So this is not my usual laptop, the server. And if you want to have Mongo shell installed, you can do sudo apt install MongoDB clients. So that's going to give you the Mongo shell. All right, so now to connect to uh, the MongoDB replica set, it's usual you need to specify the individual members of the replica set. Mongo, MongoDB, colon, and the IP address of uh, the parts. Because we have exposed that as a load balancer, we are going to use the external IP address, 172.42.42.200.201.202. So all of those are the services that connects to the uh, to these parts behind the scene. And if you want, you can specify the port number, which is completely optional if you are using the default port, colon 27017 and colon 27017. Cool. So we are inside our Mongo container. Show DBs, rs.status. Everything is working fine. So that's how you access your cluster, sorry, your MongoDB replica set um, from outside the cluster. So the connection string will be this one. So that's the connection string for all your applications wanting to access the MongoDB replica set inside the cluster. The connection string would be that one here. And you can also add these IP address to the uh, DNS if you want. And if you're on the local host machine, you can do sudo vi etc host. And let's say you can add 172.42.42.200. Yep, that's mongo-0. Sorry, mongo-0. Paste that and 201 is mongo-1. Mongo1 and Mongo2 is 202. Okay, so now should be able to access it using MongoDB colon Mongo-0, comma, Mongo-1, comma, Mongo-2. Cool, that's working perfectly fine. So that's how you access your replica set from outside the cluster. So if I do kubectl describe service Mongo-0, this service here 
let me also do um, kubectl get all minus o wide so you can see the IP address of the pods kubectl describe service mongo0 this service if you look at the details of that service you can see load balancer port is 27017 and the endpoints is 192.168.136.65. So that's the IP address of Mongo0 pod, which is here. Mongo0, the IP address is this one, 192.168. So that's the endpoint. So when you hit the load balancer IP, uh, 172.4242.200, um, that one is going to redirect the traffic, proxy the traffic to this pod. Cool. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please share and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please let me know. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.